All right, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing Bloodstained game playthrough, we're actually on level two. This is after we just defeated the very first boss, and now we have Miriam on our team. And so let's see what this new character can do. And Miriam will be the primary character in Bloodstained Rich of the Night. And so it's kind of funny how Zengetsu is the main character here in Curse of the Moon. And so I'm probably sure that has some tie-ins later on whenever we get to the very next uh, official game. Whenever Koji and his team finish. And the thing I like about Miriam is that she is not only powerful and she has a lot of health. But her jump is also higher. And she also has this slide technique as well. And the fact that she has a whip. It just makes it a lot better for long distance attacks. And so overall, I think she is a better character than Zengetsu because Zengetsu has to get so close to his enemies because of his short range sword. So this actual stage reminds me so much of Castlevania 2 Simon's Belmont, specifically the nighttime scenes as you can see there. And these enemies, even though they look different, they function very similar to some of the older enemies in the original Castlevania series. So if you are a fan of Castlevania, you remember a lot of these. And Miriam actually has two different weapons. She has this dagger and then the other one is like a three sword attack. And then she also has one final one. It's like a sixth or scythe. Now because Miriam can jump higher, we can actually go to two different paths. Okay, so like here, Zangetsu can't so if you just play with him you can only go down but if you play with Miriam you could go across so you have branching paths right here so this is the first time that you can actually use the characters to go to different places okay so I have gone downstairs before with Zangetsu and this is actually more difficult so I'm gonna go the easier route by using Miriam to actually jump over here so this route is a little bit easier because I've actually tried the other one. So maybe on another playthrough, I'll go to different alternate routes. And here are these enemies. They are the infamous frogmen <laughs> from Castlevania. I hated those guys. But with Miriam, it does make it a lot easier because she can definitely reach places that the other guy can't. And then that slide techniques help a lot because I don't have to go all the way around. So I like this one better than the other magic that she has. But let me see if I can get the other one. No, that's the same one. Look at those enemies. One, two, hits. And those are the annoying... Oh, wow. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, man. I hate those things. In the Castlevania game, those are actually the flaming skeletons. Wow, I really hate those things. And you can only attack this enemy whenever they have their mouths open. Okay, it's best to take care of those enemies right away because they could, you know, obviously hit you and you will be hit back and fall into the nemesis. <laughs> I'm just going to avoid that guy. Okay. Now this one, I think it just actually increases attack. Yeah. So instead of taking two hits to kill this guy, it only takes one hit whenever you have this on. Alright. But it's actually not a really good magic attack. I think this one works better for him. Oh man. I hate these bats. You gotta really time these bats because they can fly at you right when you are actually trying to get somewhere, you know, like that. They'll just kill you. Oh man, I chose the wrong one. Wow, that's so tricky. Okay, so let's try that again. That is so tricky right there. So you gotta really time your attacks. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Miriam for this. I think she'd work better. And I hate these guys because even though you hit them, that long range attack. Okay. 
I think I got it this time. Alright. And I don't like this dagger weapon that she has. Come on. Yeah. Alright, so see that's where that comes in really handy. Oh man! Wow. So with that one, I'm just gonna have to hit him. Oh man, that was so bad. Okay, let's do that again. This time I'll be ready. And so, as you can probably tell, lots of memorization. <laughs> so I got it this time. So hit them there. And then this one, there it is. Just had to be patient. And when, later on when I get different characters, I'll be able to explore those other areas. So, I'm going to keep this <clears throat> magic weapon. So, new enemy here. Just got to time it. Well, I just set that and then I got hit. <laughs> Alright. Ice version. Alright. Takes about five hits. See, without Miriam, I can't get that. So, I'm gonna have to come back and get that later or something. Oh, that was stupid. Okay. Now, I'm not sure what this reminds me of in terms of Castlevania. This stage is the ice stage, I'm pretty sure. I could find it or remember. All right. And here is this boss. Ice and water put together. And these bosses, they're so inventive. So if you remember level one, it was primarily a large boss. This one's not that. Look at that. Oh man, it's much better when you have both characters available. Okay. Okay. Okay, got a time to... Oh yeah, so if you can get close, you can get that so many hits in. Alright. And obviously their final attack, so you kind of got to be ready for that, whatever that is. Oh, I still got hit. <laughs> oh, that was so cheap. But guess what? Looks like just past level two. And looks like we're gonna add another person to our team. Let's see who we got. Here he comes. All right. All right, we got Alfred. So he is the magician. So we'll be able to use him on the levels from now on. Sweet. So Alfred is now our ally. There he is. So he is basically a magician, a wizard, and so his attack power is not great at all. <laughs> but his secondary attack power is pretty good though. His main attack isn't that great. Okay. And he doesn't have a really high health bar. So, that is it for this particular episode uh, for level 2. And so, on the very next episode, we're actually going to be playing level 3 with our brand new character, Alfred. 
So if you had any thoughts on Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon, on Bloodstain Witch of the Night, or Castlevania, or any other games, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you would get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page, and join my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks a lot, and I will see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.